Welcome to another exciting episode exploring the lifestyles of the world's wealthiest individuals. Today, we're taking you inside the billionaire lifestyle of Qatar, the third richest country globally, boasting an impressive average GDP per capita of $133,000. With such wealth, it's no wonder that the ultra-rich in Qatar live lives of unparalleled luxury and extravagance. In this glittering world of Qatar's ultra-rich, the lifestyle is nothing short of extraordinary. From opulent palaces to colossal yachts, extravagant weddings to exclusive license plates, these billionaires certainly know how to make a statement. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the unique and luxurious lifestyles of Qatar's wealthiest, offering a glimpse into the unparalleled extravagance that defines their everyday lives. Now, when you think of opulence, you might not immediately think of license plates, but for the ultra-rich of Qatar, owning a unique and prestigious license plate is a symbol of status and power. These customized license plates often fetch staggering prices, as Qatar's billionaires spare no expense in getting the most exclusive and desired numbers for their prized automobiles. This trend has turned license plates into a luxurious commodity and a statement of wealth among the Qatari elite. Let's explore how this fascination with customized license plates has reached dizzying heights in Qatar. One jaw-dropping example of this trend is a mystery Qatari billionaire who splurged an astonishing 12 million on a license plate. This particular plate, adorned with the simple yet highly sought after digits, one, two, three, is a statement to the immense wealth of Qatar's ultra-rich. The businessman attended an auction specifically to secure this prized possession and had no intention of reselling it. Instead, he placed the $12 million license plate on his $500,000 Lamborghini Aventador SVG, a symbol of extravagance and exclusivity that few can match. In Qatar, the ultra-rich take wedding celebration to a whole new level, hosting grandiose events that are nothing short of spectacular. These lavish affairs can spend more than a week, with guests being treated to various stunning venues and luxurious experiences. The number of guests invited to these opulent weddings is mind-boggling, far exceeding the guest list of typical celebrations. To ensure the utmost comfort and convenience, the Qatari elite transport their guests via Boeing planes, sparing no expense when it comes to hospitality. With budgets that could easily fund multiple conventional weddings, these extravagant events are truly a testament to the wealth and prestige of the Qatar's billionaire class. A prime example of Qatar's extravagant weddings is the luxurious nuptials of Noor Al-Fardan, daughter of Qatari business tycoon Ali Al-Fardan. Held at the opulent Petit Monde de Forcé Montressé in Geneva, this multi-million dollar event was attended by over 300 guests who were flown in from around the world and accommodated the the prestigious Four Season Hotel overlooking Lake Geneva. The ceremony featured top circus acrobats and popular Arab singers who were paid handsomely for their performances. Noor's father spared no expenses, covering everything from air tickets to private jet transportation for guests who required it. While the spending may seem excessive, it reflects the importance of tradition and familiar pride in Qatari culture. Horses have long held a special place in Qatari culture, with Arabian horses being renowned for their strength, beauty and endurance. These majestic animals have been associated with the Arabian Peninsula for centuries, even before the concept of branding existed. In Qatar, as well as in other Arab countries, horses are treated with the utmost respect and admiration. The elite class in Qatar is known to invest heavily in these horses, often spending millions of dollars to acquire and maintain these prized animals. Their love for horses showcases the connection between Qatar's rich cultural heritage and the modern-day affluence of its ultra-wealthy citizens. A prime example of Qatar's love for horses is Sheikh Fahad bin Abdullah Al Thani, a member of Qatar's royal family. He has spent a staggering 10 million in just over a year to purchase a variety of horse breeds for himself and his family. The significant investment demonstrates the importance of horses in the lives of the ultra-rich in Qatar. But it's not just the purchase of these magnificent animals that comes at a high cost. The maintenance and upkeep of these horses also requires substantial investments. The stables where these horses are kept are immaculate, rivaling the cleanliness and luxury of five-star hotels. For Qatar's elite, no expense is spared when it comes to their beloved horses. Qatar's ultra-rich are known for their extravagant purchases, and super yards are no exception. One of the most impressive examples is the Al Lusail, a super yacht owned by Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Priced at a jaw dropping $500 million, this luxurious vessel truly embodies the term super yacht. Previously known as Project Jupiter, the Al Lusail is now named after a beautiful city in Qatar. Measuring 123 meters in length, the yacht is just one meter shorter than the super yacht Qatara, owned by Sheikh Tamim's father. The design choice is thought to be a gesture of respect towards his father. The Al Lusail does skimp on luxurious amenities and features, making it a floating mansion worthy of a Qatari billionaire. With a massive 75-foot beam, it comfortably accommodates up to 36 guests and 56 crew members across its six 
lavish decks. Guests and crew can easily access each deck through an onboard elevator. For relaxation and entertainment, the Alusail boasts multiple swimming pools, a state-of-the-art gym, a beauty salon, and a stunning barbecue area. In addition, it features a dedicated tender garage and an upscale beach club. When it comes to hosting VIP guests, Sheikh Tamim doesn't have to worry, as the yacht is also equipped with a helicopter landing pad. Despite its colossal weight of over 8,489 tons, the Alusail is capable of reaching a top speed of 16 knots, making it not only a luxurious, but also a powerful and efficient yacht. Believe it or not, Manchester has become a favorite destination among Qatar's ultra-rich, with over 70,000 people from Qatar Kuwait and Saudi Arabia and Iraq visiting Manchester each year, it may come as a surprise that they prefer it over London. The reason behind this preference is the city's convenient layout. In Manchester, high-end shops are within walking distance from the top 5-star hotels. This proximity saves them time as opposed to London, where they would have to spend considerable time on the roads to reach their desired destinations. Convenience and luxury are of the utmost importance to Qatar's elite, and Manchester provides both in spades. So. It's no wonder they keep flocking to this city for their extravagant shopping sprees and indulgent experiences. While in Manchester, the ultra-rich of Qatar indulge in lavish spending sprees, splurging on luxury items and experiences. Their shopping habits are so extravagant that they often pay hundreds of pounds for extra rooms in their hotels just to store the luxury items they've purchased during their stay in the city. From high-end fashion brands to opulent accessories and exclusive experiences, they spare no expense to make their visit to Manchester a memorable one. This level of extravagance demonstrates the deep pockets and luxurious lifestyle of Qatar's elite, even when they're away from their home country. For Qatar's ultra-rich, the allure of owning real estate isn't limited to mansions and skyscrapers. Recently, there has been a growing trend among the elite to invest in private islands as an exclusive and prestigious addition to their real estate portfolios. These idyllic islands not only offer the ultimate escape for billionaires and their families, but they also hold great potential for development and expansion. From luxury hotels and resorts to high-end vacation rentals, the possibilities for turning these island properties into profitable ventures are endless, further showcasing the wealth and power of Qatar's elite. A prime example of this trend is the Emir of Qatar, Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, who made headlines back in 2013 when he purchased not just one, but six picturesque Greek islands for a staggering 9 million. These beautiful islands, boasting pristine beaches, natural coves, and ancient olive orchards, were a testament to the Emir's impressive real estate portfolio, which spans from London to Beijing. Despite the time-consuming paperwork and legal processes involved in acquiring these islands, the Emir's determination to secure such a prized possession paid off in the end. With their potential for development, these Greek islands could pave the way for luxurious five-star resorts, high-end villas, and other exclusive accommodations further solidifying Qatar's ultra-rich status on the global stage. In summary, the ultra-rich of Qatar truly know how to live in the lap of luxury, from their penchant for purchasing million-dollar custom license plates to their extravagant wedding celebrations. They spare no expense to showcase their wealth. Their deep-rooted love for horses and impressive superyard collections further exemplify their opulence. With favorite destinations like Manchester and high-stakes investments in beautiful island properties, the billionaires of Qatar continue to redefine the limits of wealth and luxury on a global scale. We hope you enjoyed this inside look into the extravagant lifestyles of Qatar's billionaires. If you find it fascinating, please let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content exploring the opulent lives of the world's wealthiest individuals. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos and thank you for watching.